Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Los Hermanos RC Battleground. Today we have an awesome mano a mano. This is actually father against son. It's gonna be great, man. So, uh, so let's go over the points real quick. Each obstacle is worth five points. You fall, it's two points. You fall again, you're out. We don't have all day to be here. And uh, if you reverse, minus one point. If you take the easy line, minus two points. So um, let's see what happens. But first, let's meet these guys. All right, guys, I'm here with the son, Alex. Alex, what's up, man? What's up? All right, what are you running today? What's, uh, how are you gonna beat your dad? Um, I don't know, I mean, probably just try to do the best I can. Let's see how it goes. What you got in your hands? What are you running? What, what you got? What wheels? What motor? Uh, this is a Axial 10-2. We got a Fusion in here. And um, pretty standard, just lowered with like brass and that's it. All right, man. So you feel you feel confident? Yeah. All right, man. Let's see what he does. All right, All right guys. Now let's meet the dad, Giovanni. It's not Giovanni dos Santos, sino que es Giovanni. Giovanni, how are you? Good, good. How you doing? All right, man. So uh, how are you gonna be your son today? Well, you know, try to do you know, everything. Take it easy. Try to do the best we can. Let's see what. What are you gonna be using to beat him? What you got under here? What is it? What tires and what motor are you running? I got the uh, Element Enduro with the uh, Holmes Heavy revolver. You know, a couple upgrades. Nothing crazy. Yeah, good enough, I think. You feel confident you're going to win? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> mano a mano, man. Father and son. All right, guys. So, like I said, it's a special edition of Mano a Mano, father, father against son. And the cool thing is the mom's here because she doesn't want them to fight. So, let's, let's see, yeah. see what's up. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good. How are you doing? Good. So, you're here to prevent a, a family feud between these uh, two guys? <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel having two kids in the house? Uh, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you also rock uh, crawl yourself with RCs or not really? No, 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 I don't. You just like watching? Yeah, I just count with them. <laughs> cool. Right now they're not paying attention to us. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, my son. Oh! <laughs> All right, man. Let's see what happens. Mano a mano. All right, guys. I got the matchmaker for this event. Uh, what do you go, Miguel? Yeah, All right, but you guys follow him on his Instagram right here. How do you feel about this matchup? It's gonna be all right. Hopefully, it's gonna be a good matchup for right? father and son. Let's see what happens. Man, I feel like Oscar Deloya, and he's the guy that does the matchmaking for the fight. So this is gonna be good, mano mano, man. And well, now for the play-by-play, -play, we got Raúl and Rudy Rude. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Announcer. My name is Raúl, and I'm here with Rudy Rude. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be here once again. All right, guys, let's go back to the field with uh, Raul. All right, Alex, <laughs> you're up, man. All right. All right, guys, as you can see, that's obstacle number one. Alex is the first one. This is called the IRC uh, hill. And that's because uh, one time, really rude, I was out there with my brother, and uh, it, looked, it looked like someone smashed their, R, uh, their RC up against that rock that you see uh, Alex having a little bit of trouble trying to climb at this moment and uh, that person had I guess a IRC sticker and, and, and I found it on the floor right with all the broken broken parts and I ended up putting it up up on, on that hill or is that man I don't see it well, I don't know someone probably stole it or took it man but definitely that's the IRC hill this is a tough one man because as you can see Alex is having a hard time and the way you go up this um, this uh, little hill here, or mountain. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Is that um, you gotta notch it. You gotta align your tires perfectly well on this uh, on this hill. See, something like that. And as a matter of fact, my brother Mike ended up uh, messing up or stripping his gears on this one. And as you can see, Alex is doing a pretty good job. Oh shit, you're actually gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely what? looked like he was gonna make it and uh, Hey man, he's doing a pretty good job, Debo. Yeah, he is, man. He, look at that. There you go. That's perfect like that. That's how you have to do it. He, a, he has to keep it that what? way, though. Oh my goodness, man. Looks like he's going to do it, Debo. Yeah, it sure does, man. Oh, in your way. Uh, Let me know. You? Hey man, were you in people's way or something? No, no, no. It's because I was recording and uh, I didn't want to be on their, you know, on Because on you got to stand in a certain places sometimes to see the line. So I didn't want them to think I was blocking or anything. Oh my goodness, man, look at that. Oh, what's that, man? He's doing like the cha-cha or something, man. No, he's using the servo to try to weave his way in and out. But see, he's already kind of already messed up right there, so it's, it's kind of hard to come back, you know? And uh, as you can 
Tau. I believe we were counting uh, minus deduction points here. Hey man, what's that noise, man? You're in Vietnam or something? No, man, there's an there's a airport, heliport uh, right there. Oh my goodness, look at that, man. Oh, oh my goodness, devil, look at that. What's going on, man? Well, he got stuck, so he's trying to kind of uh, come out of it, you know what I mean? So that's another backup right there, so that's minus points right there. I think he did like already three of them. So he has two more points to go because each obstacle is worth five points. Oh man, so you guys have like a point system, huh? Yeah, man. Oh, he's looking good. What do you mean he's looking good, man? Looks like he's doing awful, man. Yeah, I know, but uh, meaning that he hasn't flipped or fallen yet. That's not called falling. Oh man, just keep watching, man. Look at that. Oh, he backed out again. I think this is what he called it. Uh, oh, he's got fallen? Oh, he already. And then. All right, so Miguel. All right, man. So. He did five backups, he's out. Obstacle's worth five points. So, let's see what happens with his dad. Oh man, so that means he lost? Yeah man, because he didn't climb the hill. So basically everybody has five points and they start deducting, so he wasn't able to complete it. So zero points for him. So I guess uh, we're going with his dad. So let's go back on the field. Yeah, I know, with the devil, right? Yes, with Raul. All right, All right Rudy Root, so that's uh, Giovanni. Oh my goodness, he's old, man. He's like an old guy, man. He's not old, man. He's uh, He might look that way, but in his heart, he's really young. And uh, he's actually from Guatemala. He's a truck driver. And his favorite hobbies, other than RCing, is hiking. And he also likes uh, do doing some trail walking. Um, you know, so he's pretty young at heart. And uh, although he looks like that, really rude doesn't mean he's old. Oh, man, it's because he reminded me of my abuelito, man. Oh, your abuelito? Yeah, man, I miss him so much. Oh, man, look at that, man, look at this. All right, man, so once again, this is Giovanni. He's going up against his son, Alex, and he also didn't have a great start. Like I said, this uh, IRC uh, mountain, look at those wheels, man. Look at those tires uh, doing their job. Um, trying to grip, trying to go up. Is that dangerous? Can it pop? No, these wheels don't pop, man. They have foam inside. You mean like foam? Yeah, like foam. Like when you foam in a mouth? No, it's just like foam. And uh, anyway, so as you can see, he had to notch it in order to be able to go up that uh, IGRC hill, and he's having quite a bit of trouble as well. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a hard, um, hard hill if you don't start off right you know by placing the wheels on the notch you won't be able to make it and that's why you have trouble like that and as you can see he's having quite a bit of trouble with his element rc he has a couple of upgrades uh, wow yeah man he looks like he's having a lot of trouble that we can't help him no nobody could help him uh, you got to do it on your own um, it's just you your control and your your heart you know or your rib why does it sound like a pig, man? It's hurting my ears. Oh, that's how the it sounds when you give it a little bit of power. Hey, how come yeah, the, right? the motor sounds like that? Well, he has a, I think it's a hobby wing uh, snub nose. Oh, oh, there you go, there you go. Oh, man, looks like you're gonna make it, devil. Yeah, it looks like it, right? It sounds like little pigs, man. Yeah, that's what the, some people say. Oh my goodness, he's kicking up a lot of dirt, man. Oh, well, that's gonna be struggling, man. He's trying to make that uh, wheel grip and spin, you know? Oh man, I'll be honest, man. That noise is hurting my ears, man. Sorry, dude, that's part of the game, man. Alright, there he goes. He's still struggling. He's trying to pump it, man. Maybe, she, maybe this guy, Giovanni, ought to be hiking or something instead of doing this now oh he's doing a good job oh he backed out oh he's doing a good job man he just can't can't find that uh, angle with his wheels and tires you know look man he's doing the cha-cha again and it's a servo he's making it uh dance a little bit so he could uh well yeah i guess he's called the cha-cha he's just wiggling that servo to get that uh rig going you know all right man so here's giovanni he's trying to make it happen I don't know. Enduro's having a, a hard time. Oh man, I, like I said, Devil, you ought to be just hiking instead of doing this, man. Yeah, man, don't, don't be mean. That, that's what he likes doing, man. Yeah, man, but look, he can't even go up. 
Oh my god! What happened there, man? Uh, he fell. So that means that nobody gets any points. Exactly, man. So if you don't complete the obstacle, you get zero points. Let's go back to the field with Raul, who has an update. All right, guys. So they both get zero for that uh, obstacle, man. Here we go. Who started first? Alex. Now we go with uh, Giovanni. You're up first, man. All right. So here we go. Obstacle number two. Hey, Devil, how come you sound tired, man? See what happens for being overweight, man. You need to stop eating all them tacos and burritos, man. And I know you love eating Tommy's. Man, why you have to pick on my weight, man? You need to stop, man. Oh my goodness, is that a barrier from Diablito? Yeah, it's one of the barriers that uh, I, I make. And, I, and if you want to purchase one, you can hit me up at uh, Barriers by Diablito on Instagram. And uh, they're for sale. And I can send you all the info. Oh man, that's pretty creative, man. Did you do all that? Graffiti writing and stuff? Well, yeah, we could also do that, but uh, we don't write on it. We actually do stickers so that um, you're able to enjoy it, you know? So here we have Giovanni, man. Uh, this is obstacle number two. And oh, you hear that? What happened, man? He messed up his motor. Uh, he was giving too much pressure because he oh, didn't start no. at the... See his face? Oh, man. Guys, something happened to his uh, RC. He was like, uh, we're gonna give him some time. Maybe he could work it out. Uh, 10 minutes. We'll give him like 10 minutes. Is that cool? Yeah. 10 minutes to work on it. Uh, hopefully, it's nothing major. So, here we go with uh, his son, Alex. Oh my goodness. What happened, Devil? Look, uh, why don't we go back to the replay? Because I was talking when that happened. Let's uh, roll that tape, and you'll hear when his motor kind of uh, gave out, or, or, or it just. Um, it, 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 I don't know what you call it, man. Uh, the guys that are probably watching this know the proper term, but basically, he over. Um, pushed it or, 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 or something like that and it messed up like his gear and uh, thankfully it's the, the guy named Miguel who was there uh, helped him out kind of fix it to get it back on the competition trail so that's pretty cool on him and these are some of the pictures that I took while he was helping him out that's what the RC community is all about man helping each other out and Miguel was, was cool enough to help him out and uh, he got him back on the road but uh, let's go back to that video where it, it just sounds uh, horrible check it out Oh, oh. Oh. Damn, that was sounded dangerous, man. I'm glad everybody's okay, man, because last thing I want to see is someone without eyes, you know? No, man, it won't pop that way, you know, or explode. But uh, let's go back down to the field with Raul, who has an update, I believe. Let's see what's going on, man. All right, guys, so this is uh, all, all for fun, but it gets competitive, man. And that's what it's about. It's for you guys to show how smooth you could be and what your rig is really made out of, man. And, uh, man, I feel kind of bad right now, but uh, let's see what happens. Oh. What was it, the spurgy? No. no, that clutch is already done. Where's that? Isn't it? <laughs> All right, guys, we're here with Giovanni. Giovanni, how do you feel, man? What happened? I don't know, man. I think, you know, I was trying to go easy or not, but I think I went a little harder, so. You sent it? I think the, the clutch is it's damaged, I think. We'll see. 2,000 years later. Okay. Yeah. Well, you might be able to save it just for the comp. Yeah, I have to get a new one. All right, Alex, how do you feel? Yeah, I was like, what the hell? Well, I mean, Giovanni, how do you feel? <laughs> Excited, man. We fix it, so, so where's the pin? we can go. All right, Rudy Rude. Sounds like uh, everything's under control. Let's go back down to the field with Raul. Hey, man, I'm excited now, man. I'm glad he fixed it. That's what teamwork's all about, man. Thank you, Miguel. All right, guys, so Giovanni got it repaired. How do you feel, Giovanni? Oh, I'm good, good. All right, man. So what was the problem? Uh, I think the uh, the clutch is, was a little, little loose, so we tied him up and it's ready to go. All right, guys, here we go. So he's minus one point on this uh, five-point obstacle. Here we go. All right, here we go, really rude. This is uh, Giovanni with his Element Enduro. He's running that Holmes Hobby revolver that's a little damaged, but he's trying to uh, finish this obstacle. Number two, he has Hyrax G8 by Proline. And again, he did not start well. He was supposed to notch it uh, in, in order to be able to go around this, uh, this obstacle. This is called the body cruncher, man, because it'll just tear you up, man. Oh, man, he's doing, like, not really well, man. But there he goes. Look at that. Oh, man, he did it. Oh. All right, man. It wasn't the smoothest. It wasn't the smoothest, but he did it. He got through it, man. 
All right, let's go with Alex. Oh, man, what does that mean, Devil? Really rude. That means he gets four points. Remember, he kind of damaged his motor uh, right before the start of this uh, obstacle. So that's why he gets four points. So now let's go back to the field with Raul and Alex, who's ready to start obstacle number two. Hey, really, really real quick. Uh, Alex is only 14 years old. He's a freshman in high school, and his hobbies are... He actually four buys with his older brother who has a real four by four uh, rock crawler. So he does that a lot with his brother. So here we go, man. He started pretty well. Look at that. Oh my goodness. He looks pretty good, man. A lot better than his father, man. Who I keep saying he ought to be hiking instead. You know what I mean? Stop being rude like that, man. Hey, I'm really rude. Haha. <laughs> well, there he is, man. There he goes. Oh my goodness. He did good. Oh, look at that. Minus one point, so they both each score uh, four points, right? They both have four points on this uh, obstacle. Here we go, man. Mano a mano, father and son. Hey, devil, but he did it, man. How come he only gets uh, four points? Oh, that's because he did a reverse kind of uh, at the beginning of this obstacle. So therefore, he only gets four points. Really rude. Oh, okay, man, I get it now. Hey, let's go down to the field, man. Raul's ready. All right, guys, we're on the third obstacle. Score is four, four. So we're going to start off with Alex since his dad started the first one. Here we go. All right, here we go with Alex, man, obstacle number three. Once again, Alex is running the Fusion, uh, Hobby Wing Fusion. Has uh, some brass upgrades, and of course, he's running G8 Super Swampers. And he's taking the hard line on this one. There's a hard line and an easy line, the hard line to the left, and the uh, uh, easy line to the right. So he decided to take the hard line to get those five points. Hey, what happened right there, man? I just moved the tennis ball. All right, so here we go. He's having a little trouble. It's not too smooth, man, on a throttle, but he got the job done, you know? Uh, I've seen a couple people do it a lot smoother. All right, man. Alex gets his five points on this obstacle. Let's go with his dad. But he got his five points, which is what's uh, really important. But, of course, uh, if we're judging on, on smoothness, definitely not smooth. But uh, let's go with uh, his dad now. All right, here we go with uh, El Maestro Giovanni from Guatemala. Uh, who is a truck driver and he loves doing RCs with the son. He also is taking the hard line, my querido amigo, Rudy Root. Yeah, man, I see it, man. He's having a little bit more hard time than his son, right? Yeah, he's uh, having a little bit more hard time, as you can tell. Um, usually when, when it's bouncing a lot, yeah, you need to just lay off on a throttle and, and just gently give it some, some, some power and it, it eventually... Oh! Oh my goodness, what happened, devil? Minus two points. Well, he fell, so he loses two points. So now he has three points, man. So, um, you know, his son completed it. He did the hard line. He got five points. So now, uh, Giovanni has an uh, opportunity to make three points here. But um, he decided to take the hard line once again. You know, he wants those uh, three points. And, of course, if he would have taken the easy line, uh, he would have just gotten one point. So he needs to get these three points. Yeah, man, I see he's struggling a lot more than his son man yeah well you know it's a different setup i believe uh, i'm not sure if he has weights on this one i know alex has weights because he had mentioned it are weights important yeah because it, it keeps the front kind of um it sticks it to the it sticks hold on hold on look at that when you have weights up in the front it keeps the the front you know kind of stuck to the to the rock you know what i mean it won't lift as much as it has is really no now oh, okay i get it man Hey, Devil, you really don't know what you're saying, huh? No, I don't. To be honest with you, I don't know how to explain it, man. I just know that weight helps so that uh, it doesn't tip over, you know? That way, the gravity or center, the gravity just keeps it down low below, something like that, man. I know people are going to criticize it, but uh, it is what I know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's having a hard time, Devil. There he goes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Oh, man. He did it, man. Right, man. Giovanni did it. He got, uh, he got his three points. This is a real good mano a mano, guys. Oh my goodness, so he, if he would have fell, that would have been disastrous for him, right? Yeah, man, but he didn't fall, so he gets his three points. So it's looking pretty good for both of them, man. All right, guys, here we go with obstacle number four. This is Giovanni. The score right now is Alex nine, Giovanni seven. Here we go, man. Looking pretty good. Hey, he looks great, man. All right, so he decided to take the hard line here. For five points, let's see how he does. That's a uh, reverse. Oh no, he's going for it. That's a reverse right there. Minus one. Oh man, he's looking not too good again, man. I think hiking this this thing, devil. Nah, he could RC, man. He just needs a 
need some practice as you know some of these guys don't even know what kind of lines they're going to be doing until they get there so look he's doing pretty well man look at that yeah. all right looking good devil uh, see really rude all right man hopefully he come, goes up that rock for them what four points right yeah because minus one that he did right now reverse looking good man he's running those uh hyrax g8s from proline That home's hobby revolver sounds not too good, not too suave, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that's because he damaged it. Oh. oh, what happened there, devil? All right, guys, so uh, minus, a, minus a backup and false. He has two points, so I would suggest uh, take the easy line, man. <laughs> Say your two points. Oh, man, you're helping him out, man. What if he would have taken the hard line again and fell, he would have lost. Yeah, I know, but, uh, you know, I'm helping him out, man. Look, there he goes. Taking the easy line, you know, for those two points that he has remaining. Oh, what's going on, man? Looks like he's having trouble again, man. Yeah, it seems a little bit like that, man. I think maybe that uh, revolver really is not doing its job, you know, because it did get damaged. And we were backing off with number two. Oh, man, look at that. Man. man he's trying to work it man those high rack tires oh man what happened devil well he went off to the side as you can see no i know but why well i don't know man i guess he lost balance man you're looking at the same video i am yeah man but you were there yeah i know but i was recording i'm not really paying too much attention because i'm trying to get a good shot you know what i mean oh man he's really struggling devil hey devil do you have his phone number you want his phone number for what so I could call him and tell him that maybe he ought to go hike next time. Man, leave him alone, man. He's gonna find out who you are and he's gonna kick your butt, man. Oh, come on, bring it on, man. Bring it on, man. Oh, hey, I tell him, man. A little, a little frustration, perhaps? Oh, man, I would be a little frustrated as well, man. Oh, oh, what is... Oh, look at that. Oh, what happened, devil? Well, I guess he can tell, right? Oh my goodness, where is he going home? No, he's not going home. He's just going to go around to try to do it again. Yeah, man, but he's really beating it up, man. Oh, he's probably a little frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would be too, man. Hey, Devil, do you have a restroom here? Why? Because I got to go, man. Yeah, oh, hold on, man. You got to... He's going to... Uh, All right, guys. Oh, what happened, Devil? Well, he didn't finish, so he gets a zero with this obstacle man so now let's go back with uh raul and see what's going on because i think alex is up next okay looks like we're going direct with uh the play-by-play -play announcement once again i'm raul and here's really rude hello everybody all right man so we got alex uh taking the hard line on this obstacle worth five points and uh as we all know he's running the axio 10-2 he, ha uh, he has a fusion uh, hobby wing fusion motor on it uh, and he's running a G8 super super swampers from Proline on this one so we got a minus one. Oh look man he's doing a little cha-cha again it's not a called cha-cha man it does look like a little dance but it's not it's maybe a shake here. I don't know oh whoa whoa there he goes man looking good looking good hey devil is that a hard line it's kind of hard. Um, you just got to find the right uh, angle to it, and then uh, it's pretty much easy in our climate. Have you ever done this line? Yeah, we actually call it the Big Bertha, man, because it's a pretty big rock, and uh, obviously on the video you can't really tell the size of, of this rock, but it has a good angle, and you got to approach it at a certain way. So right here, uh, Alex has decided to just take the easy line to secure, I think, four points. So there he goes, up and over. Past the obstacle marker, and he's good. He's good to go. Past it. Alrighty, guys. So this is what's going on. Alex secures his three points, which brings up his total to twelve. Giovanni has seven. So technically, Alex is the winner as of now, because what's going to happen on a fifth obstacle, which is the last one, if Giovanni gets five points, brings up his score to twelve. And if Alex gets his five points, it brings it up to 17. So it's kind of hard for uh, 
Giovanni to actually win unless Alex completely flops it and just, you know, gets a, a complete zero. So here we go. This is the fifth round. Who will be the winner of the RC Battleground Mano a Mano? Right, guys? So this is like a victory lap for Alex, man. He cannot mess it up. He cannot fall, man. Otherwise, his deck could catch up and perhaps take the lead. So here we go. Oh, that's a nice turn. Oh, my goodness. He's doing good, devil. Looking good. Looking good, man. Oh, my goodness. Those G8 Super Swampers doing his job, man. Is that... Oh, man. Is that a backup? No, I think he... Uh, that's a backup right there. That's a backup because you can hear the motor. The other one, I think he just fell back. Looking good, man. He needs to really work at it man so right now he has a total of four points reroot oh my goodness i'm getting stressed devil oh there he goes man he needs to notch it here oh there he goes he needs to find that line if he oh my goodness oh my goodness devil i'm so nervous man there he goes man he needs to notch this part up and over and oh look at that he did it man oh man he did it that gets four points man so that brings uh 16 points to his dad so here we go with his dad Giovanni he needs these five points man all right guys so this is it man I, I don't even think uh, Giovanni with five points could actually catch up because uh, Alex has 16 and if Giovanni completes this without messing up he'll only have 12 points so officially Alex has one so now his dad's just trying to complete this obstacle Man, I'm gonna sit again. Oh, that's it. that's it. Game over, man. Game over on this mano a mano. Giovanni, your son beat you. Yeah, man. Well, you know, the good thing is having fun, you know. It's a great day, so, you know, that's the whole point. But thanks for, for this, and it's pretty fun. Right, man. Guys, let's go with the winner. Oh my goodness, Alex, Alex, you won, bro. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're not excited, what? Because <laughs> you, you beat your dad or what? What's going on, man? You can uh, celebrate it. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty excited, but I mean, you know, it's a little friendly challenge, and that was pretty fun. And that's, like you said, that was the main part of our scene, you know, having fun with friends. That's what it's about. In this case, it's with your dad. You beat him. You have bragging rights all weekend, man. So, <laughs> you know, I, th I think the, the drive back home is going to be kind of quiet. With you and your mom in the back seat while your dad drives, man. I mean, could be, you know, so <laughs> see how it goes. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you so much. Yvonne, come over here real quick. All right, guys. So here they are. Giovanni and Alex. Mano Mano. Thank you so much for partic participating with us today, man. Thank you. Yeah, that was a great day. All right, man. That handshake, that friendly handshake, man. All right, All right man. Let's go with the one that started everything. That made the, the pressure on her on Giovanni, his wife. Uh, yeah, you, you're the one that did all this. Gave him bad bad uh, bad, bi bad vibes. No, no bad vibes. <laughs> but I I, I wanted my son to win. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, guys, thank you for watching. If we want to participate. Subscribe. To, uh, follow us here on our YouTube channel, and of course, if you want to participate, comment down below. Thank you once again to Miguel for setting this up. Miguel, thank you. Yeah, it's all about having fun. <laughs> Alright guys, later.